Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 16 and in this video I'm going to show you how we can transfer assets from the static build that we did into our WordPress theme folder. Okay, so first things first, um, if you've not been building the static design with me so far in this tutorial series, then I've uploaded all the files that you're going to need onto GitHub. So you can come to this address here. I'll leave the link down below in the description. And all you need to do is download the zip folder onto your computer and unzip it. So then you can transfer everything across to the WordPress theme. All right. Okay then guys, so these are all the files that we made for the static build. We've got the images, the index, and the star.css. And we're going to move these over to the left. First thing we want to do is just drop the images in right there so we can use them in the theme now. Now I want to transfer the style across but there's already a style file there and I don't want to override it because that's some base styles that come with this um, blank theme. Okay so what I'm going to do is right click over here I'm going to go to new and make a folder. This is optional it's just the way I like to do things and I'm going to call this static template and then we can store these two files in here for reference for when we need them. Alright so let's get rid of those now and if you come over here you can see in the static template we've got those two files now just to walk you through this style.css this is the theme style okay and like i say it's a lot of base styles it's also got a bit of a reset um, and some styles for specific areas on the wordpress theme like comments and things they're going to be useful to us so we're going to want them so we're not going to delete that I am going to delete a couple of things, I'll change a couple of things in this default style.css and the first one is going to be the list styles. So these right here, I want to delete the margin and the list style, so I'll get rid of those. Those as well, that's a bit of margin because that's going to conflict with some of the styles in our CSS. So I'll save that. The next thing I want to get rid of or change is the link styles. So we'll come here and all I'm going to do is change the style of these links to 333 which is going to kind of match our design. Okay, 333 and 333 which is like a deep grey. Cool, so now they are the base styles. Now I want to transfer these styles into this one but I don't want to override them like I say. So I'm just going to grab all of that, copy it, come into here and then come to the bottom of this file. And I'm going to paste them right at the bottom here. Now I'm going to do a little comment just to say um, additional theme files, uh, not theme files, theme CSS and finish that comment off. There we go and I'll just paste it all under there. I've just put that comment in so I know where my styles begin and base styles end. All right. So we've got our CSS sorted. Uh, we can delete this one now if we want because we've transferred everything. Now what we'll do is come to view. And I'm going to go to vertical split. I'll get rid of this style. So now we've got the left and the right panes to work with. Now on the right, I want to put this index.html. This is the initial static build we've got. So now whenever we have a file open on the left, like for example the header, which I'll move to the left, uh, now we can just transfer things across dead easily. So this is just the way I like to work. And at the end of it, when we've done everything, we can just delete off this static template folder because we don't need it anymore. All right, so that was just a dead quick tutorial just to show you the way I like to transfer things across and how I like to work. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. We're going to start styling up or rather uh, coding up this header by transferring things across. So stay tuned guys and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.